Hello everyone, welcome to Naglen TV. Sab mandal lagaw was. Aja aming han yedi Don Bosco School dia higna sa. Aming han yedi yedi aha to book launch karna higna sa. To ito to ancient aun naga religion and culture by late Pangar Imchan in commemoration of Ong Pangkong San So Telongchan Dimapur Golden Jubilee Celebration. Tayo bito lapod ay aming han size ako. My brother, Amar Fai, in Murija, is always like that. It is ancient our Naga religion and culture. It is written there. It is a demand. Nineteen ninety four, ninety three, the publish was there. Always, I see. This is demand. How about that? Reprint was there. Or it is like that. That the main do. For fathers, religion. It I can believe pura aro aji ka aji Christian idi. Ito laga comparison aro itum ito balance kuribu karni ito laga kitab to sub manovera timan aro ito laga kitab to U.S. sedak chaise aro sub mano na na naga na naga spi ito pisik kutrogar pisik phala se ito ito pisharya se aro ito Pok to, ekem sorde swabra itu umangkong sensu dalongjam OIS TD timawul, dah kambara inisiat kuri guna reprint kuri si. This is a very good development. Um, I don't think I'm really qualified to perform this role, book review, um, I don't know 
right person the way of blood. You know, I mean, will you be way? I'm thinking, Pangardo, first name, first name, same as you, you know, what I'm going to say, you know, what I'm going to say, you know, what I'm going to say, you know. It would have been better for one of his contemporaries, Taigan Iklot Kurigina, Ligina, Ahiana, contemporaries, Arwasi, Taigan Kunuwa, Kurili Palu, Bina, Mishi, will be. Book review ni siya to na kurebo, will be ni symbol para ito kitap ti kia si, aro specially kitap ti tayo questions kutiyakan. Aro bi answer no kura pisya si, remaining questions. Naka tayo pichi, after him, naka researchers and scholars after him have contributed, they have conducted research, will be aro struggle para questions Answer for even the para asi itu kan urut point out for you. So 1993 di publish kuri si two three years ti given the originality of the work two three years ti arobi ini republish kuri kuri langa kuri si kuri bi our late brother tay 1994 di kuri si itu kuri kuri para na aro Mui bahvi asli republish kore kena di. I think the book should have. But tadi cinta dah gile mani. If he would have been alive, I think I would have imagined the book coming out in revised, enlarged version. Kini mani tadi engage kore topik kando. Cing context tu bisi change kore si. Moreover, tadi kore kuah, tadi kore profesai kore, tadi kore analyze kore. Bisi pak itu happen kore na hija si. Itu pura kitab lagar relevance tu, bishia si. Kita dah laga kitab mui graduate studies di puri si. Itu first first publication dua kase. Ini jani jani kena, tay kitab dia esok pura tu lemani. He would have become. He is already he established himself as a scholar among the nagas. Boleh bi? Aro bi tak kaki kena jai si boleh mani. He would have become one of the foremost foundational Naga scholars in the world, even ending up taking uh, teaching positions in the in universities. In the main point to kitab laga main point to itwase. Naga Christianity, isur kota borahe, gospel borahe, moidan naga mano, aw mano laga, longings, desires, and our search, our quest. Moidan laga search to answer kore. Moidan salvation search kora, moidan kora pisari laga answer do isur Krista gospel borahe ito answer do dini. Nika tay laga main point do ito ase. Second day, tay Kuado, mungkin awam mana naga mana Christian bangi hukuli paripu at the same time, arupi awam naga identity ini bangga maintain hukuli paripu. What his book presents is the argument that we can we can be good Christians without Compromising or getting rid of our traditional cultural our identity. Aru tay ikta kwado third point to koy to hili our manu subaliba falo kura manu di hubulagi or hili Christian pal husa ikta hubulagi itu tuida kini ka pangan hubulagi ini ka putia tay di tay kwado subaliba di sumi culture di our culture di Bahagia sih, biar biar sih. Tu, isu kota lalu ni nilai akan tu itu tu lagi reject pulau pulau lagi. Orang ni isu kota lalu ni lagi nak kaki akan tu itu mana recover pulau pulau lagi, adopt pulau pulau lagi, atau embrace pulau pulau lagi.
that would be quite historic. Because what we are doing today will have an abiding significance. Pamarba, Katanjano Boasa, Saka, Pa Shisasa, Pa Tanjambo, Tanja Tanjambo, Pa Kangarang Chakra Nangpa, Asandra Kasa. The Pamar has always been a very, very imaginative scholar. He was not bookish. When I was in the CTC, I had the occasion of meeting him. He would come often to, my, to me. And what Dr. Pamar was mentioning in relation to what, how the election should be conducted, I remember Yung Chayamar. Pamar and I, three of us, we would spend long hours. It's a book that holds the tension, culture, modernity, our, our ancient religion and the coming of the gospel, you see. He, he is very creative in, in trying to hold it together. As I read this, not this edition, but the first edition, uh, it reminded me of um, the great old philosopher, theologian, Benjamin Warfield. Warfield was of the opinion that um, general revelation is a prelude to the special revelation. In other words, if we have to put what Hamar is trying to say was that our himself, our ancient religion, meaning the our religion, was the kind of a general revelation of God. And this was a process. You cannot dichotomize our, our religion and Christianity to be separate. This is at least what Pama is trying to say. This is in my, in my critical thinking, that one paves the way for the other. Very creative understanding. Pama Yunjan was also very, very uh, artistic. His way of talking was such that he was always dialectical. He would, he was also, he had some kind of a Socratic irony in him. He would try to draw, he would try to draw knowledge from people that you, at the end, he would try, he would say, you are wrong. <laughs> that was very, that's called Socratic irony. And Palmer had that. We must understand what Pamar is saying is that religion and culture, these two are different sides of the same coin. You cannot do away one at the expense of the other. These are the two sides of the, of the same coin. And as such, religion and culture is very much alive. In technical language, it's called ontological. We, we talk about ontology basically as supra, supra or metaphysics out there. No. I think even culture and religion, these two, are also, are also ontological, very much alive. So, to be alive is to change. You know, a person don't remain the same. We 
keep on changing. We grow older. As we grow older, we become a little more mature. And, and maturity is a sign that you have come of age. Religion and culture is alive. How do we change? Are we looking to the past? How people gracious, loving God. What a joy to be in this manner, a very, very special occasion. It reminds us, it reminds us of our days together with our young scholar, Pangar. And what a joy that this coincides with the Golden Jubilee of the Ong Bakong Sun Tzu Tavonjanipatur. Oh God, it's no accident that a cultural body has decided to honor it. This year is the sixth sentinel of Christianity in Nagaland where the churches will be celebrating its 150 years. <laughs> Interestingly, the Umbangung Sunsu Tulungjam Timapur is also celebrating its Golden Jubilee on this auspicious year. So also in the Jewish calendar, this year marks 5,782 Shemitah, a sabbatical year, a year of release. According to the Hebrew custom, the numerological interpretation of 5 Seven, eight, two is to be a year of grace, perfection, new beginning, and double portion. All glory to you, O Lord, our God, from whom all blessings flow. With a heart full of gratitude, love and honor to you. We celebrate today together with the family and the The need for a second edition of ancient Aonaga religion and culture is found to be necessary because of the originality of the research and the primary resources that the author has referred to. Many of the works of the past of the Ao Naga continue to rely on ethnographic works of the British administrators, which are imbued with ethnocentric thinking and binarism of the self and other. However, Imjin's work is one of the binary work done by someone from the Ao community, from the perspective of the community, a story of the underside. As he has noted in his work, the onset of modernity and with it Eurocentric education, culture, practices and Christianity has impacted the way cosmologies are perceived by the our community. The story of the past now unfortunately remains stories of the past. Moreover, globalization has brought the small village republics and the members of the Ao Naga community into contact with the larger world, which has resulted in adoption of the ways of the global community. In such a hybrid context, Injun's book functioned as a text for the younger generation of the Ao Nagas and the Nagas in general to help retrieve, remember, and recast their own self and their self understanding in today's world as an Ao and as a Naga. It is very important to be noted that Imjin's work was done in the early 90s, during the time when gender sensitivity and economic, uh, academic writing was not very popular. Therefore, his language as the trend then is impeded and patriarchal language and traditionalist approach. This is my critical um, uh, reading of his work. 
However, what stands out in his work is his persuasive argument about the Ao lifestyle and how the critical use of it can continue to further the growth of the community life of the Ao Nagas. He avoids the tendency of romanticism, which is generally the case of many of the writers, not all, but many of the writers and authors who work on the traditional cosmology of the indigenous community. He is critical of some of the practices while insisting on retaining some of them. The second edition of this book is brought out with changes in some of the translation work done by the author from English Naga, uh, from Ao Naga to English, because uh, we all know that the spellings have gone through a lot of uh, uh, changes even in our community. The usage of language has also been improvised in order to meet the demands of the present. However, his core ideas and researches remain the same. As also as expressed by the family members, we have retained the original ideas of the author as much as we go. So with this note, I would like to encourage everyone here to participate in buying this book, not only for yourself but for your friends as well, and um, because this will make us to understand things from a better perspective. Thank you. First of all, very happy New Year, you know. Respected Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, today I stand here in gratitude to the God Almighty for favor that He has given to our family in celebrating the life and words of my brother Nate Comrade Elgin, though he is no more with us today. My brother Comrade was very hardworking, even as a young boy, and I could see that his perception in all that he was involved was much way above a hint of his time and age. We as a family is grateful to OSTD for my own sense of government in my own. For the initiative to come out with the second edition of the book, The Ancient Out Naga Religion and Culture, which is truly an important contribution to the body of Naga literature. My brother Pamela was a practical scholar, and during his lifetime, he ceaselessly worked towards documenting some of the important aspects of Naga culture, <coughs> history, and tradition. Let me mention the books written by him during his short life. Number one, Morning Star, that is Lok Sasong, uh, Biography of Lok Sasong, 1940. Second, Mamadong Church, 75 years with 75 steps with the Lord. Three, Omagong Golden Jubilee, and for uh, historical analysis of socio cultural, education, and political, 1940 to 1990. Four, the Aung Naga origin and make treasure. Number five, the longest night, February to The sharpening stone, that was some of his paper. And some unpublished books. I hope that in the days to come, we as a family 